What is it that inspired you to take music as a profession? The good thing was that in the 90s, uh, Channel V and MTV were playing a lot of rock. Hmm. And yeah. Nirvana was happening, Metallica was happening, yes. Guns N' Roses were happening. So it was but natural that everyone was listening to rock. That's the most important part. So if you, it was very easy for, to inspire someone because he was already listening to that kind mm. of things. So if someone would see someone playing a guitar, it would just make it that much more easier to get him into music. Yeah. So talking about the gig, do you remember how was your first gig? Uh, was 12 in the afternoon. Yeah, 12 yeah. in the afternoon at, uh, like most of the bands in Bombay there used to play. They used to play at IIT Mumbai. In the sun, hmm. two people. Two people. Two judges or yeah. three judges. Yeah. And the band. Band is clueless. People are clueless. Judges are like, oh my God. <laughs> no, 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 there's a change. The band is clueless, judges are clueless, and there are no people. There are no people, yeah. Were... Those two people were the sound engineers and the <laughs> stage wala. Yeah, it, they were the uh, crew of that area. So. Yeah, exactly. So still, I was happy that, okay, two. Yeah. So we played that show. We played that show. Do. Kya baat boli hai? So we were just playing the gig, and while playing the gig, my stick flew. Hmm. That was the first gig. Yeah. And these guys were on. Yeah. He was on the floor playing the guitar, lying down and playing the guitar. <laughs> he was there in the corner and my stick flew and I just got up. Yeah. I went there, got my stick, <laughs> came back and started playing again. <laughs> I, and like, all this like time, nobody like, cared. Like, nobody <laughs> cared. As if, I just thought that I'm so, I'm so small right now that nobody would even see me going there, picking up the stick, coming back, yeah. and you know, st playing the song. Did yeah. people think it was a part of an act? If they thought. If people were they there, are, they would have but, thought. Yeah. I know. There were no people. <laughs> <laughs> what I meant was that's how it's happened after then. Malab, then on, yeah. oh, that's how it's happened. We yeah. really don't know what we are doing on stage. Yeah. And, but all of us individually are having fun. So how so is it, it that looks that the show is going on. No, but how is it that people started to take notice of you then? It was the first show, right, where there were, there were probably no one in the crowd. Uh, you know, after that, we've taken our music and our performance to, you know, India's biggest festivals. Right. Uh, like Independence Rock, Great Indian Rock, mm. Hornbill Festival. Now, this is in Nagaland. It's, I mean, if you go to Nagaland, it's, a, it's, you know, it looks like a different country because there's so much of talent. Yeah. So many musicians over there and you get noticed over there, right? Wow. When a band from Mumbai goes there, a band from Mumbai goes to Delhi. In Mumbai, you play at these big festivals. That's how I think we started spreading out. So you there. actually took your music to where people were. Correct. Yeah. When is it that you received your first compliment? One instance, you know, from an appreciation standpoint as well, when we released our first album in 2007, you know, one of our friends in the US, actually, you know, she's got contacts in the punk uh, mm. rock community over there, and she's shared this album with, uh, you know, there's a punk band in the US called Minor Threat. Mm. The front man of that punk, punk yeah. band, Ian McKay, yeah. uh, he actually wrote, know, us a postcard. Wrote, wrote us a postcard, a handwritten postcard yeah. where he said, you know, punk, it's, it's very refreshing to hear punk music from India and keep going, you know, keep doing the good. So it was like a proper appreciation. Well, it's quite encouraging when people from the West take notice of what you're doing here in India and especially the kind of music what you'd play, which is not Indian. That's why punk rock, because uh, in punk rock, there is no music, musical virtuosity. Right. Uh, so everyone is the same and there is appreciation everywhere. That's what we realized when we did a recent tour of uh, the Northeast. We played three gigs, one uh, in Guwahati and a couple in Shillong. So over there, uh, the most frank reviews that I've got in recent times. The review was that you guys uh, are very urban and the uh, things that you're talking about are very urban. Amazing. So that was the time that actually rung bells in our heads.